Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. Last time we went out and we found three oil patches which I thought that we were going to be hooking up uh, today, but I found out that if we go in and look at oil pumps and oil refineries, oil pumps take 40 megawatts each, which is 120 alone, and then I don't know how many refineries we need uh, but we'll certainly need three and I'm guessing more so let's just say that we need three that's 150 that's 270 megawatts of power that we need and if we look at our power situation uh, I suppose we could do it but it's dangerous and we might trip a breaker uh, so I think what we need to do first before we go set up all the oil and stuff we simply need to uh, unlock uh, expanded power infrastructure so we can get fuel generators. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to make computers. And in order to do that, we need to unlock industrial manufacturing. So that takes uh, 50 modular frames and 2500 uh, wire. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do. And uh, let's see, we have 50 frames here. Uh, let's get some of this out of the inventory. Uh, let's just select the milestone so that we can see what we need. Industrial infrastructure, select milestone, uh, frames, motors, uh, 300 cable. And then we need the wire which we have a ton of right over here in our little storage area, uh, which is here, I think. Uh, yes, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's get a couple more, just so we have them. All right, and so that's that. Uh, so let's go over and get uh, this unlocked. So we need to get this in here. There we go. And let's launch this baby. All right, industrial manufacturing unlocked. And that will take 12 minutes to get back. Uh, but let's uh, have a look. Okay, so let's have a look at what that unlocked for us. Uh, it unlocked the manufacturer, which uh, I'm guessing is huge. It looks huge. It has four inputs. Uh, crafts three or four parts into another part. Okay, so we could uh, use that to make some stuff. But uh, let's see what else did we get. Nothing in power, nothing in logistics. No new walls or anything. No, but we did get the truck, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that also needs computers, so we can't take a look at that right now. But uh, that has 48 inventory slots, as opposed to the whoops, uh, 24, 25 of the tractor. So we could maybe supply our steel production with one truck instead of two tractors, reducing the risk of collisions, which would be nice. Uh, let's see, does the MAM have anything to, for us? Yes, it does. The analysis of the hard drive is complete. So let's see what alternative blueprints do we have. We have an alternative blueprint for heavy modular frames. That might actually be nice, uh, because those are really complex to make. Uh, also for rotors which might also be nice and another one for reinforced iron plate i think we're going to go to with the heavy modular frame alternate blueprint so let's select that and we actually do have uh, over here we have three more hard drives so let's go stick one in here and let's see hard drive begin the analysis on that and that will take 10 minutes which is about the same time as it will take the uh, the pod to get back 
But let's see, because for the next milestone that we want to unlock, which is the expanded power infrastructure, we need 50 computers and 50 heavy modular frames, uh, which we have nowhere near that many of. Uh, but we do have the motors, we just need to go pick them up. So let's see, what do we need to make the uh, uh, alternate for the, where is it? For the heavy modular frames. Oh, I haven't unlocked it yet. Uh, we need to do that first. Uh, let's see, where is it? Not there. There's fabric there, which we need to do. Uh, it's not there. There it is. 100 quick wire and 50 rubber. So we're not going to be unlocking that right now. So we'll need to make them from the regular blueprint, uh, which we have there. We need frames and encased industrial beams and a lot of screws stuff so we can we can make those computers we need circuit boards uh, cable plastic which we can't make yet dang it mm. uh, that means that we won't be getting our oil power going so we need to go set up at least a bit of production over there so i guess I guess we have no choice but to go set up that production over there. Dang it. Alright. I guess we'll do that then. Let's just scan for the crude oil. Uh, this flying bacon mushroom is really weird. Uh, let's get over here and... Oh, wait a minute. I took out all of the concrete because we might as well build concrete on the way. So let's go pick that up again. Because we want uh, the concrete to get over there, right? And it's also much faster to run, especially now that we have blade runners instead of swimming, because swimming is painfully slow. So let's build some. Uh, not there there let's build some foundations on the way there we go do we have enough probably not but it'll have to do for now uh, we can just see what's in here uh, we have a little bit more okay so let's get this going and let's see can we line it up with this so that nah not do that. Uh, I just want to get building from right around here and I think what we'll do is we will put the 4 meter high foundation on there and the ramps and then we'll get 2 meter. Alright, so let's start building some foundations. We'll go this way and just build our way over there. Whoops. And if you can get into a rhythm when doing this, it's really nice, but sometimes it's pretty hard to get into that rhythm. Definitely need to go this way. I know it looks weird that all of this is just floating in the air, but uh, we'll build some pillars once in a while at some point to make it look less weird. Uh, just built another one in the water and another one. Uh, let's get those out of the water. We don't need them right now. Now it's important so just to get over to the oil. And this, I don't know if we're going to belt the oil over or truck it over, but if we truck it over, we definitely need to make this too wide. But we can worry about that at a later date. Uh, let's just scan for the oil and see where we need to go.
go over there. So basically straight ahead. easier to jump in the water and go over there and just uh, do it from the other side because this is getting annoying uh, uh, yeah let's do that One. maybe we can climb up on this thing get this going so that's much faster and we can just for kicks put a pillar down here it's actually on the floor all right let's run over here to the island Hope for, hopefully there's no enemies right around here. Uh, uh, let's see, zero. Invalid aim location, why is that? This was too far away. All right. So, we are over on one of the islands and we have an oil patch right here so let's get a oil pump set up on that let's see cable dang it all right let's go back home and get some cable actually we might as well no we need cable for that as well i was thinking that we could uh pull power along the way but that's not possible let's run but this is a lot faster than uh, uh, swimming that's for sure so we're going to go pick up some cable and then we'll pull power along the way so that we can start producing as soon as we're over there. I like the mist, but sometimes there's a bit too much of it, it feels like. Hey, okay, flying bacon. All right, almost home. Get the cable. Almost there. Whoops. Cable is caught. Climb the ladder, ladder dude. Uh, up here. So, grab uh, punch. What do we not need right now? I don't know. Now we have cable. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's start pulling some power with us. I guess we can just pull it from over here somewhere. Uh, does this have, these all have four lines, but the last one doesn't. So let's take it from there. That only has two lines. So let's uh, hook on to that and approaching others' clearance. Can we build it up there? No. Dang it. Can't do that. All right. Fair enough. We will try something else. We'll just go around it. 
and say power line here and a power line over here and now we can so let's just pull it as far as we can just about there and then we'll just pull it out and find our bridge which is there and get it going all the way right let's see not long too long now there get some more power going These can go pretty far, which is really nice. But there is quite a ways over there. Oh, no. No. I guess we are around halfway there now. A little bit more, maybe. I was hoping that we could have gotten the oil generators up and running before we did this, but unfortunately we need stuff that the oil generators make in order to get generators, or uh, uh, that the oil refineries make to get oil generators. Alright, so we're over here, and... Let's build our first oil pump right here and then build a oil refinery. Uh, we are going to redo this so it just needs to be functional, it doesn't need to be pretty. We'll build that there and get the conveyor going. These things are huge. Look at that. Oh. Alright. So let's hook up you to that. You that. Alright, so we're pumping out crude oil. Does this need a configuration? Yes, it does. It can make plastic. Okay, so it can make plastic. That's very nice. Uh, it just needs crude oil to make plastic. Okay. Make fuel or it can make rubber. Let's take the it to make plastic. And because that was what we needed for the circuit boards. And let's uh, just build a small storage container. that and get it stored up oh, we have plastic going yay and it produces 22 and a half per minute which is fine uh, and how much crude oil is it consuming 30 per minute and how much is this producing 240 per minute and it isn't even overclocked wow okay we are going to making be making a lot of oil. Okay. But we're still kind of okay on our power situation for now. Uh, so what we could do is build another one and set it up to make fuel. Or, uh, what was the other one? Rubber. That would be a possibility. We're getting nice plastic here. I think we'll set up one more. Uh, let's first get another power pole out here. And then we can set up another oil refinery. There. Maybe. We need a splitter. Uh, 
the sticks better. This would line up with this. It won't go on the belt directly. Too bad. Alright, so let's do that. And build a conveyor splitter in between here. Right there. And hope that this will go in there. And this will go in there. And then this can go in there. So we have that going. Hook it up to some power. And sell it to make rubber, I think. And then we need an output. Let's pick up some of all these leaves. They're in the way. Uh, Alright, so another storage container. There. And a conveyor belt. So, rubber is coming out. Boom. Ah, here it comes. Fantastic. And how many do we have now? We have 66 plastic. Now let's uh, scrap that crude oil, scrap those leaves, and... Let's grab the plastic that's there, and the rubber that's there, and bring that home. Get up. Nope. Uh, let's just make something like this. Watching others clearance. Okay. Uh, it's because this is in the way, but I can just jump up here. Let's go back home and see... Uh, what we can do now. I think we need a lot of plastic to make those computers. We're nowhere near it. Uh, but at least we're producing plastic now and rubber. Maybe I should have started producing fuel instead, but we'll be fine for now. How is the power look situation looking now? Could actually set up one more uh, producing fuel. And maybe not even tax the uh, the oil pump fully. But uh, we're getting there. Alright, so... I'm wondering if we should switch fully over to our oil uh, power now. All generators and tear down all of the coal that we have the coal for steel production but we could also do a mix because we do need the oil for the plastic and all, all the other stuff as well but we'll see uh, okay let's have a look here what uh, first of all what did we need to unlock this 50 computers and how many computers can we make now and what do they take uh, computers. Five circuit boards. We can make 12 now, which means we can make two computers. Okay. So yeah, we need a lot more plastic. But we can make circuit boards, but I also think we have some circuit boards stored up somewhere. We have 11 circuit boards and 10 computers stored up. So we could do that pretty soon. Uh, let's see, there's also this, which we can't unlock yet. Uh, we need computers for all of this stuff up here. Tier 5 is done. Tier 3, we could do the rebar gun. Tier 2, jump pads. We can do those. Let's do jump pads. And those done so we can start jumping around. There we go. Launching. And that only takes 4 minutes. Milestone but reach. Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Thank you, Ada. Let's have a look at the MAM and see what alternate blueprints it gave us. Alternate for encased industrial beams. That looks quite nice. And we haven't set that production up yet, so that would be very nice. 
Uh, rubber cable. I guess that's just cable. Uh, that looks pretty nice too. And the rotor one again. I think we're going to do go with uh, encased industrial beams on this one. And then, uh, let's see, we could do mycelia. We could do another hard drive. I think we'll do another hard drive. Uh, there. Hard drive. Let's get those alternate recipes going. So, yeah, but this wasn't what I had planned for this episode, but uh, we got some stuff done. We got the... Uh, uh, first few products made out of oil going and we got uh, the last tier 5 milestone uh, unlocked uh, the industrial manufacturing as well as uh, we are working on the jump pads and we've unlocked a computer as well so not what was planned but still progress. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.